Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to create a new page for your website. In this case we are going to be using the Webwonks website to show you how to create a new page. Now we use the Silverstripe CMS, our website was developed by the team at Toast and the content management system, the CMS, is going to be different to your own unless of course you're using Silverstripe. There are thousands of different content management systems available online so it really does depend on what type of CMS your company has but as we go through this you'll see that the general theme of what we're attempting to do to build a page that has content, it has an image, it has metadata behind the page, it has a, a good name, it has a navigation label or a menu and it has a title. We're also going to put up a video so that it's a little bit more interactive and you'll see how that is done. It's a really good way of describing how to create a new page, a new content for your website. Inside of the CMS we need to create a new page and you'll see we can do that really quite easily. We need to give the page a new name, in this case it's going to be Google AdWords Billing. And then we're going to need to add some content. Now we have created and written a page already. And we go into Word and we make sure that the grammar and spelling is correct. We go back to the page, we can put it into the page and we can change a few settings just to make a H tag. For Silverstripe, the H tag, the first one is going to be the page name, and then the second one is going to be the, the main title. All the rest is paragraph text, as you can see here in silver. If we then click on metadata, we can change the description to manual, and the Google AdWords billing is the title. We don't use keywords, don't ever use keywords in the metadata of your website. Google actively penalizes websites that do that. You can see this in a separate campus tutorial lesson. The description is going to go something along the lines of, are you needing to add new credit to your Google AdWords account? This tutorial page will show you how. Okay, and the site map, we're going to say that the priority of this is going to be three. Now, if we go back into the main section, we're also going to add an image. To do so, we just need to go add image, choose where we want it to be going to. In this case, we want it to be a campus image. Go to upload the file, choose the file. And so we give it some alt text. And we'll copy that the center and insert the image okay and now we can save and publish the page you see that it's published we are also going to add a video because we're going to show the users of this page how to add credit this is a feature available through the Breadcrumbs website, or Webdo website, dependent on which version you have purchased. We're going to add a video in here, and we're going to call this Google AdWords Billing. And we'll get the spelling right, we'll give it a title, and then we will save. And then close, click Save and Publish. And that is how you create a new page, really quick.
quick and simple. We'll go to the campus, we'll go to the AdWords section, and once that page loads, we'll drill down to the Google AdWords billing page, and here we'll see the content that we've just added. We'll see that there is the H1 tag, the H2 tag content, there is an image which has alt text and caption text, so you can see when you hover over, there's the rest of the content, and then there's the video. On our pages, we also allow people to sign up to our monthly newsletter, and you can see that we are Google AdWords certified partner. And that's how you create a new page. The key takeaways from this particular tutorial are prepare your page before you create the page. So we already had a folder in it. We had the copy that we were going to use. We had an image that we were going to use. And we had a video that we had loaded to YouTube that we were going to use. When we created the page, we knew what was going to go into it. Um, and so it was really just about building the structure, adding the content, creating the title, creating the name. And from there, we were then able to go down to the metadata, check that the title was correct, add description. We changed the sitemap and then we added the video. Having then saved and published, we were able to see that page on our website live. And that's how you create new content. Do have a look at the submitting content to Webmaster video tutorial after this, as it will show you the final step you'll need to go down in order to make sure Google's aware of any new page that you create. If you have any questions, please head to our Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash webwonks, or give us a call 0800 932 9665. That's 0800 Webwonks. Thanks for watching.